hello all welcome back to tech capture so in our previous video we discuss about what are the different types of agent there we discussed okay we have llm agent workflow agent and then we are having the custom agent so in workflow agent we are having three type one is sequential agent one is parallel and one is a loop agent so in this video we are going to create a multi-agent system or multi-agent workflow for a job assistant okay so it is kind of your job assistance agent which will give you the open job position it will give you the interview uh, preparation tips it will give you the list of question and answer which can be asked in interview just with a single prompt okay so let's say i'm asking okay i want to prepare for the google cloud architect role then it will just go and check what are the open positions available currently okay it will give the list of the open position and then this list of open position is passed to the second sub agent so based on the open position then it will create the list of interview questions and answer so this both information then pass to the third agent and then this third agent will give you the interview tips based on the open job position and the interview question answer and the final the whole interview tips you will get as a output along with the job position question answers and the interview tips okay so this was the just overview of the architecture what we are going to implement now let me just go to the my vs code so i am in my vs code and here you can see i am having a multiple agents which i created in our previous youtube videos for this we are going to work on this job search agent where we'll get the agent assistance we'll create a multi-agent system which can give a assistance in the job search it can give the open job position it will give us the interview question answer and the interview tips as well so i'll just walk you through the code first okay so first as we discussed this is the workflow agent so it does not have the llm capability it just define the sequence of the other sub agent so we are using the sequential agent here so sequential agent will execute this sub agent in a sequential manner so first it will go to the open position agent which will fetch the open position then it will go to the interview question agent it will get the interview question and answer and then it will go to the interview tips agent so using this first two agent information it will give you the interview tips okay so let's start with the first open position agent so one important thing your workflow agent does not have llm capability it is just your workflow agent you do not see any llm here it is just defining the sequence of this now your sub agent can be your llm so if i go to the open job position agent so let's go to the open job position agent here yeah. so this is having llm agent capability or this is having llm capability and it will use a gemini model so i am defining gemini model 2.5 flash so based on your requirement you can use a 2.5 pro or any of the versions now it is based on the prompt as i mentioned what it is doing you are a job search assistant based on the user query do your research on a web and list five open job position now which job position it will give it is based on the user query if user is asking for the java developer role it will give the list of open position for the java developer role okay and whatever the output it get let's say it got the five open job position it will store in a state okay so state means you can see the persistence memory in a variable format uh, in the key value fair so it will create one key as open position and value will be output of this llm agent so which is our sub agent open position okay now it will store as open position once this open position is stored it will go to the next step of the sequence which is the interview question agent now this interview question agent is just check for the open open position because we stored here in a state so here how we can access the state which is our open position so just you can assume in a simple term it is creating one variable called open position and it is storing all the value of the open position okay so we'll go more detail in state sessions context everything or callbacks so in in our further video but for this sequential is just understand this agents output we are storing in key value for well format so key is open position and value is the list of five job which are the open position now this interview question agent is getting this information which is your open position and we are asking you are an interview coach for the given query which is the user query and open positions create a five common interview question with a strong sample answer your format should be question and answer so we are clearly asking give me the answer in this format now we have to store this 
question answer as well somewhere that we are storing in another output that is the interview QA. So our state is having now two variables and with the output, one is output key with the open position, one is output key with the interview question answer and then we are having the third agent. So now this both information open position and interview question answer is passed to the interview tips agent which is our third sub agent and it will do what it will do. So it will just summarize you are a career mentor provide a practical tips and trick to the excel in interviews for a query using the open position and the interview question so it will cover how to research the company what to prepare technically behavioral interview strategies and body language and communication tips output as a bulleted list now it will just give you the response as we instructed so these instructions are very important when we are using the adk this instruction will decide what output you need and in what format output should be okay so then it will store as a interview tips so this will be your final output because this is your third agent and this will be your final output okay this is overall flow let me just go and start my agent and let's see if it is working as expected or if it is facing any issue we'll try to resolve that issue okay and this adk provides only the back end okay so for the development purpose, Google provide a ADK web UI, which we can start using the ADK web. If you referred my previous videos, you can go and check how we created our first agent, how we can run ADK in three different format using ADK web, using the API servers, or you can just use the terminal using the ADK run. So we are starting using a ADK web. Okay, our agent is started. Let's go to this link. So this is the dev UI provided by Google to test our agent development kit performance. Now let's see which is our agent. So our agent is job search agent because it started all these agent which are available in root directory. So I'll just navigate to my job search agent. Okay. And let's start with our first question. Okay. So there is always a session ID and you can create new sessions as well. It store all the conversation in the session. Okay. Let me just ask. I need help in preparing interview for Google data engineer role. Okay. So I'm just asking this question. Now it should invoke the three agent. Okay. First it will get the five open position. Then it will send to the uh, request should send to the one sub agent, which will get the question answers and then final response should be interview tips you got the response from the first sub agent because we are in a streaming mode so it gave the five open job position now you can see it given the interview questions and answer for a data engineer interview so describe the complex data pipeline you design and the answers then you can see the multiple questions and answer it provided okay so this is from the second agent and this response should be summarized along with the interview tips by the third agent let's see the output from third agent yeah so this is the output from third agent how do i research for the company what to prepare technically and behavioral interview strategies so you got all the outputs now so you can easily prepare for interview okay so here you can check all the stats okay how much time it took or what is the flow so you can see the first response let's say you want to see which response is from which so this response is from open position agent if I scroll down this response is from the interview agent and this response is from interview tips agent so you got response from all the agent and as we talk about state where it store the output you can see first open position it's stored in one uh, key value pair key is open position and it's stored so this is used in second sub agent and it prepared the interview question in this state and then the third agent is having the interview tip state which stored and you got the output okay so this is how we created our uh, multi-agent system but as i mentioned this is just the backend server let's say you want to create your own ui you can create your own ui i'll just show you the simple react ui now on my screen now on my screen you can see a simple ui 
I have created using the react okay so this is very basic UI and I use chat GPT to create this I am not very good at the web development but yeah I am running this react app locally and I wanted to just use this react app to get the request from the users send it to the ADK and get response from back to the ADK and display here okay so I'll just start with okay uh, the user ID I'll set my user ID okay and whenever I send my first message it will create a session now I will ask something about okay help me with AI engineer job assistance in India so I'll ask specifically in India now because in the last response it provided the open position across Japan London Singapore so this time will be more specific so it will give us the job open position from the India and it also give us the interview question answer and also the interview tips okay so we ask it to elaborate in the more while giving the interview tips preparation guide questions and along with the answer so it is giving the bigger response so let's see how much time it will take now so i'm running it in local so it might take some time so let's just send this message so you can see as we send the message it created a session with the session id and now you can see the message status is sending so it's processing our request okay now we got a response let's take a look at the response okay so you can see the response from job search agent we can just display it the agent name as well and now in initially it gave the ai engineer open position five open position from bangalore hyderabad bangalore pune and chennai okay then it give the common interview questions about the machine learning algorithm and you can see all the questions and answer it gave okay after that it give the interview tips okay communication skill research deeply about company technical fundamentals so it got us the response so we can use the custom ui because the adk provide just the back end and for testing it provide this adk dev ui but whenever you want to deploy your agent you need to have your custom ui which can get the request from the users and provide the response back to the users okay hope this is clear now in our next video we'll play around with the another type of workflow agent that is the parallel agent so in this video we discussed about the sequential agent okay so that's it for this video and we'll see you again in the next video